Linda McEvan, Labour MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber, an announcement that the White Rose project in your constituency has won uh, this funding. What's your reaction? Well, I'm very, very pleased indeed. It's going to be a pioneer project for the whole of the European Union and it will allow us to burn fossil fuels much more cleanly. So it's very good news for our region and very good news for the whole of Europe. How significant is this uh, for Yorkshire? Uh, how big a project is it and what could it mean in terms of the Yorkshire economy? Well, it's a demonstration project. It will create about 4,000 jobs in the construction phase and uh, hundreds of jobs in the longer term. But what it's really about is we all know that we've got climate change. But at the moment, although we don't dig as much coal in, in Yorkshire as we used to do, we're still burning coal. We're burning as much coal as we did 20 years ago. And so if we're to meet our climate targets and cut our, our emissions of CO2, we need to clean up our energy. And this project is one of the pioneer projects across the whole world in doing that. And so we get it right in Yorkshire and then we can export that technology to the rest of the world. As you mentioned there, it's, it's, it's a kind of test project really. Why does it need so much money? Why was this money from Europe uh, required anyway? Well, it's, a, it's an experimental project because it's going to pick up the emission. This project from the Drax power station, which um, is one of the biggest power stations in Europe. But then the idea is to pick up all the CO2 emissions from the industrial hub around that area. And, to, and then we'll take the emissions out and, and bury them under the North Sea. So it's actually a very important project about tackling emissions from power stations, but also from our heavy industry, our steel industry, our other cement industry and other industries, where there is no other solution. You can't have those industries without getting some CO2 emissions. This uh, project had already received you, uh, the support of the UK government, funding from the UK, and you talked at an earlier stage when they put in this European bid about why um, the European money was needed as well. I mean, it's an expensive uh, uh, test, this. It needed a lot of funding, I guess. Yes, the companies, they're trying something new, and it's about making, getting confidence in the market for this kind of technology. So the government will put up some money, the EU will put up the rest some money, and then the private sector will put up money as well. So it's a partnership between the EU, the UK government and the private sector and we're hoping that it will become a good model and that we'll see other projects developed. It's the only one um, which will be announced today in the whole EU and at the moment it's the only EU project. And how significant is that, that it's Yorkshire against the rest of the Europe? There's nowhere else in Europe that's going ahead uh, to this degree that Yorkshire is. Well, it's, well our region is one of the, it's, we were known as the King Coal region. We, ha we, we had a lot of power plants and energy. So this, this project will help us to clean up our own environment and, um, and, and be a pioneer technology. So it's very important because We've got a lot of new investment in green technologies coming into our region. We've got wind power coming into the Humber area. We've got all kinds of new investments in green technologies. And this is one more green technology coming into our region. And these are the jobs of the future. And that's why it's extremely important as well. To sum up then, when can we see this up and running? Um, you know, how big a step forward is it today to get this funding for Yorkshire? Well, there's more studies to be done on the technology, but they're, they're saying by 2016 it'll be, it'll be, it'll the project will be well underway and in about three or four years' time the project will be up and running.